Okay, so here's another play that would make me absolutely lose my mind if I'm a manager or coach on this team. We've got Twins versus Cubs. It's a top of the fourth. one nothing Twins. Two outs. We have a runner at first base. And we're going to get this really high drive here to right center field. Outfielders are going back on it, and they lose it in the sky. Ball drops. Now we're going to try to send this runner from first all the way home. And he is just out at the plate. And again, one of the reasons why I love this view, and we don't always get this view when you're watching the game on TV, is because we can see the totality of the play. We see everything. And the more I've been going through games and looking for different situations, you see some stuff that you're like, what the hell are we doing? And this is one of those cases right here. So again, if you're watching this play on TV, you might not have any idea why this guy got thrown out at home. And even if you're at the game, a lot of times you're watching the ball and you're not seeing everything. So one thing as a coach that I've kind of learned is that you have to zoom out while you're watching a game and try to see everything. When I first became a coach, I had tunnel vision. I saw the game through a really small, narrow lens. And now that I've learned and I've coached more, I'm able to zoom out and you're able to see what's going on throughout the entire field. So here's the thing. We've got two outs. So if you're the runner at first base right here, and maybe you didn't catch this the first time I played it, two outs, ball is hit, you've got to run hard. I've made plenty of videos. My rule on the bases is you run your best time, right? So if you run a 4-0 down the line, you got to try to run a 4-0 every single time. And I've made other videos where I've talked about, I understand there's a lot of games in the big leagues. Guys might be dealing with different things. Maybe you got a tight hamstring. I get it. But you still got to run hard. And on this play, I'm really not even sure what this is. If we just watch the runner at first here, here the ball is hit, and he's going to just jog slowly. So that's the first for me, that's the first issue, is that we're just jogging really slowly. So if you don't want to run 100%, which again, I suggest everyone does, you've got to at least run 90%. Your legs are aching, you've got a, a tight hamstring, whatever, run 80%, okay? But you've got to run closer to 100%. We're running at about 40%, 30%. And then the weirdest thing is that the ball hasn't even been caught yet and he stops here I'm gonna back it up again watch I'm gonna show you when they drop the ball right there the ball hit the ground so the ball hit the ground right there and that's when this guy says I'm gonna run but watch how much time again elapses while this guy is just standing on second watch he runs here and he's gonna wait he just stops and then he goes oh shoot so he just stands there And then he goes, oh, he dropped the ball. Now he's got to go. And now you put the third base coach in this tough situation where there's two outs, and you're going to try to score him, and he's out at the plate. So we cost our team a run just because we're not running hard. We're not really running at all. He just totally gave up on the play. One thing that I'll say watching this is never assume anything. Never assume a play is going to be made. I know at the big league sometimes that can be difficult because the plays are made so often, but never assume just run hard and for me if we go here again so you're just going to run hard and at this point as you're rounding the bag you're not going to be able to see the ball anymore because it's right here so you're just going to pick up your coach and he's going to let you know what to do so let's just watch the coach here so there the ball is hit and one thing I'll say also, and you can see the third base coach is kind of walking in right here. And I know it's probably easier for me because I'm not in a big league stadium. But I'm always, no matter what, because you'll see this a lot. I coach high school. And sometimes guys will do the same thing. They'll forget to run hard. And so, you know, if I see this, once the ball's hit, I'm waving him. So I'm saying, let's go, let's go, let's go. If I see that this guy isn't running hard, well, then I am screaming at him. So I'm doing it with my mouth, but I'm also waving my arm so that if it's too loud, if he can't hear me, well, at least he can see me. But you can see the third base coach just kind of walking in. So he, I think, is just kind of assuming it's going to get caught as well. And then he goes, oh, shoot, that ball dropped. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. So 
for me, again, like once that ball's hit, I'm giving these waves right here and I'm saying, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I'm yelling and I'm doing that right away. So I just think everybody assumed that the ball was going to be caught because, well, 99% of the time it's caught on fly balls in the big leagues. But it's the one time that it's not caught and we do this that we cost our team a run. And I don't know how this game ended, but maybe that one run cost your team the game. And maybe down the line, that one game costs your team a playoff appearance, or maybe it changes the standings to where you have to play in a different round of the playoffs against a different team, and it just changes the whole season, right? You never know when that's going to be. Sometimes you get away with it. Sometimes you still win the game and no one ever remembers it. And oftentimes you might lose the game and down the road no one ever remembers it, except for those few people that do when you go back and you say, man, we missed out on that division by a game or that wild card by a game. And it's all those little things that add up that cost you that spot. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.